All right, good evening. Good evening, everybody. This is our um, Bible study for tonight. Uh, it is seven o'clock. And so we want to go ahead and get started tonight with our Bible study, which um, begins right at uh, seven o'clock. So God bless each and every one of you who have tuned in with us. Uh, we have some that are joining us um, on our uh, we're promoting on our Zoom who are coming in, and I'm over here watching that. And so I want to welcome you to the Great I Am Temple Women Free Indeed uh, Ladies of Royalty Bible Study. And we are so glad to be here with you on tonight. And so we're going to have one good hour of power of Bible study. And uh, I think it's necessary uh, that, you know, if we're going to be Christians, right? then we need to understand the Bible. And certainly, if we are going to make it in this warfare of life, then we most definitely need to study the word of the Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and get started tonight. And I'm going to start with prayer. 
Father God, we thank you tonight for being an awesome God, for you are worthy of the praise and you're worthy of the glory. God, we honor you, Father God, as, as Lord and King, as, as, as our Savior, our Deliverer. Father God, you're our healer, you're our way maker, you're our way out of no way. Father God, you're everything that we need, and we thank you tonight. Hallelujah, we thank you tonight. We thank you for being such a good God. Nobody can do us like you can, God. Nobody can love us like you do. And Father, we thank you. We thank you for your son who went to Calvary that died and rose again for us. And not only that, Father God, but he gave us power. Power to overcome, Father God. Power to defeat the enemy in our lives, Father God. He gave us power, oh Father God, that we can speak things that be not as though they were. And Father, we thank you now because not only do we have power, but Father God, you give us an inheritance, oh Father God. For Father God, if you own a cattle on a thousand hills, oh Father God, we do too. Father God, if we're obedient, oh God, we are blessed in the fields and blessed in the city, oh God, blessed when we come and blessed when we go. Father God, our seed is blessed. Father God, we thank you tonight, God, that no weapon formed against us will ever prosper. For your word is true, Father God, and will not return unto your void. So, Father, we thank you tonight and we glorify you. We pray, oh, Father God, that truth will be revealed. Oh, God, eyes will be open, ears will be unstopped, Father God. Oh, Father God, and that deliverance will take place. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. If you are watching with us tonight, then um, we're going to ask that you even share uh, that you would even post and, and that you would share this Bible study with somebody as you're watching. We want you to post your name and where you're watching from. Um, if you're joining in the Bible study and feel free to comment, to ask a question um, because it's Bible study. And so we want you to ask questions and be involved. And we want to be able to, if we can, we'll answer the question tonight. If we can't, then we will take the opportunity to go and find the answer and we will always get back with you to let you know what your answer was. So the first thing I want to do is I want to review because last week we were speaking about the real fight and our topic scripture was 2 Corinthians 10 verses four through six. Give me a minute, I didn't uh, open it to there because I'm, uh, I'm gonna open up to you and I'm going to read uh, that scripture to you tonight, uh, the 10th chapter, verses 4 through 6, and um, just, okay, the weapons we fight with, and this is the NIV version, the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete, amen? And so this is our topic scripture, but we, uh, that we want to review and then tonight we're going to be studying in Ephesians because we want to go to the second part of our study, which is going to talk about uh, the weapons of our warfare and what they are and what we wrestle with. But first is on last week when we talked, we talked about Paul speaking to basically three groups of people. Um, if you understand the scripture, you can hear him and when he talk about in the very last verse, he talked about, and we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. And even in, and backing up from that, um, uh, he talks about we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And so when he was speaking, for who he was speaking to you guys you will see that when he was talking there he was simply talking to those who are wavering in their faith he was talking to those who actually believed and were uh trying to stand and he was talking to those who were opposed particularly 
uh, those false prophets. You'll see it in the scripture. Perhaps you had noticed if you have read the scripture before, but that's exactly what he was doing is he was talking about the knowledge uh, that of God. And he was talking about those who didn't really know the knowledge of God and how they were coming against the word and coming against the word that he was actually teaching them. Okay. And so, uh, and they were, they were considered false prophets. We even talked about the condition of the people on last week and the fact that those people uh, were new converts, how they may have felt being converted uh, to something that they were not used to. They were not used to this spiritual transformation that they were running into, but some of them were just afraid of the unknown. We talked about uh, they were timid because it was new. Uh, we even talked about some because uh, Paul talked about a minority. The ones that opposed to him were those that were the minority. It was those people uh, that got to the corner that decide they just be stubborn and were not going to listen. Okay. And sometimes that's what that's what happens when there's a new word or a new way that's coming your way is that it's tough for us to 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 see. Well, when we I want to talk about not only I want to talk to the same people, actually, I want to be talking to those who 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 say, well, God loves me. God leads me. God is my all in all. That's how you, you know he covers you. But at the same time, you know that what he is teaching you and the application of the word is not quite evident in your life. And so then every day he talks about we have a warfare and the fact that we have a warfare that comes from within and it comes from without. It starts in the battlefield. Uh, uh, one of the famous preachers says in the battlefield of the mind uh, is, is where it may start. Uh, halt between two opinions. These days, we hopped between a whole bunch of opinions because we got social media that's talking about God and who he is or who he not. We got social media who's talking about church, what it is and what it's not. And so if you're not grounded, then when you face things in life, you're, you're torn between all of these opinions and you don't know what you truly believe, okay? And so... When the scripture talked about our weapons are not carnal, they're not like the world. When we do have these battles that we have from day to day, we don't resolve them like the world. Some people resolve them uh, through counseling, through nothing but counseling. And we're not talking against counseling, but we're saying, I want to let you in on something uh, is that uh, is that when it comes to to what we really wrestle against that we're going to talk about tonight. You can't counsel a demon that need to be cast out. Amen. You, you can't do that. <laughs> you know, uh, you can't mm -hmm. sin as much as we want to. Sin, the Bible says, we have to let go of sin in every way that so easily beset us. And so Amen. some of us, when we come against these struggles in life, we got, we're taking all types of pills. We're taking all, you know, types of advices and, and we're paying for big doctor bills. And what are we doing? We're constantly paying because we're never getting to the point of true deliverance. I don't know about you, but I learned that Jesus says that, that uh, to me, that he set me free. And if he did, I'm what? We free indeed. Free indeed. We free, we free always. That's it. We, we free. <laughs> So, so I know and believe, and I've always believed no matter what my struggles have been in life, and there have been some struggles in life, uh, and, and because we do it day in, day after day, there'll be a struggle. I have always believed there's got to be something better than the struggle I'm living in. Anybody, anybody witness that is, it's got to be something different that, that something, something that can happen different for me than what has been happening. And if it's not, or if I think it is, I'm going to pursue it. And so mm -hmm. what we learned last week was our weapons are not carnal. We, we can't pick up a gun. We can't cuss people out enough. We can't unforgive people enough. We can't, 
We can't hide from people enough and things that go on. We can't run fast enough from the trouble. You know, some people, when they're having struggles, they relocate, okay? But you know what? You take the same spirits with you to that location and there's a possibility that you ain't delivered at all. Not unless the Lord truly got you over there, okay? So we talked about these carnals are not human, uh, or it's not human ingenuities, ingenuities. I may not be pronouncing it right. It's not your talent. We can't lie on talent. When we have uh, <clears throat> trouble, I mean, we might be good administrators. Uh, we might be good at critical thinking. You know, you, you, you've done it before. Talk your way out of stuff and, and, and all. And it may come to a point where you can't talk your way out of things anymore. Then our weapon sure isn't wealth because you can only buy so much freedom. And then it's gone. If that situation keep coming back, you can't buy it enough. And you sure can't buy yourself out of cancer. You can't buy yourself out of diabetes. You can't you can't buy yourself out of COVID. Uh, you, you, you can't buy your way out of those things. Okay, we, we can't. We want to, but we can't. You know, so wealth is not going to do it. Uh, I think there was a part in the Bible uh, where Jesus was talking to them and telling them that the wealthy, it was going to be hard for them to make it in. Oh, Lord have mercy. Because they relied on their carnal, uh, their, their money to be their weapon, you know, mm -hmm. then we got personal skills and all, all kind of things. These are what we're talking about when we're talking about carnality, carnality, it will not work. And I've tried it. I got somebody on the line say, man, I'm a witness. Uh, some of y'all have tried it and y'all, we try to fight our way out of it. Some of us went to jail. <laughs> I, I know I ain't gonna get no witness tonight. I know ain't nobody gonna tell me the truth, but somebody done went to jail, tried to fight their way. And look here, I should have been in jail. I done tried to fight my way out of some struggles, but I just thank God that when I was saved for real, I understood the assignment. And I said, Lord, thank you. You didn't put me in jail. I was acting a monkey, trying to handle my own situation, but you didn't lock me up. You mm -hmm. kept me free. You gave me grace. And somebody didn't get that grace that way. Somebody got locked up and had to figure out that uh, fighting this battle on your own was not the answer, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are our attacks that we may experience? I want to take us back, although we're going to topically be talking about uh, talking from, and I've got some people on here with assignments tonight that's going to share with us, but um, we're coming out of Ephesians 6, but before we get to Ephesians 6, I want to back it up and tell you uh, what our attacks and, and where they may, how we may experience them. In Ephesians 1, it's Ephesians 1, if you want to study it, you can go back in Ephesians 1 and you can study 12 blessings. Uh, Paul talks about 12 blessings in Ephesians 1. At the same time, he talks about the blessing. He addresses the different points of attack that we may experience, okay? Uh, Y'all can go and follow that up with your own Bible study time. I hope that this just pricks your interest to go and really study. I love Ephesians. And so we talk about the 12 blessings, but at the same time, he points out the attacks that we might experience. Um, number one, he talks about an attack against our faith. OK, um, I don't know about you, but I I, I mean, I mean, when OK, we talked about it last week. How's your faith when when the baby need a new pair of shoes and your light bill is due? I'm talking about women, things that we get emotional about. How, how is it when um, when your man cut out on you, your husband cut out on you? Oh, Lord, where's your faith? What happened? When your back is up against the wall and, and, and somebody says, well, you know, gave you a bad report on your health. What, that's an attack on, that can be an attack on your faith. What is it that when it seems like you're in school and you're not achieving what you should be achieving, you, you, you just can't pass that. Man, that attack, why does it attack our faith? Because our faith is the word of God. And the word tells us that if we lack wisdom, 
we ask of him. Well, we got to believe that and we got to know that. But what happens is if I'm in class and I done made an elf and then come the next next test and I made another elf and the next, I, have to, I ain't checking myself. All I'm seeing is elves uh, racking up and I might need to drop that class. A professor might even say drop the class. But in actuality, the Bible says, if you lack wisdom, ask of him. If you are sick, the Bible says, if you're sick, go get the elder. Look among you. Look among you and go find the elders to pray for you. But if we sick, what do we do? We post on Facebook. I just got a bad report. We didn't go nowhere and pray. The, the, the Bible says that uh, by his stripes, we are healed. And there are possibilities that we didn't go nowhere and pray. When our children are in trouble, I know, do you hear me though? I know that when your children are in trouble, that, that can be an attack on your faith because at that point, those are your babies. And y'all got to know that the enemy is going to attack you on the very thing that is very sensitive to you, right? Mm -hmm. And so when there's an attack on your babies, do, you, do we go pray? No, we cry, we break down, they lose, they <clears> mind, <throat> we call our friend, we tell everybody on the hell of a we tell everybody, Lord, I'm going through, call my cheering. Out in the streets, they ain't acting right. I'm serious. That's an attack on the faith. I'm not sounding like it's funny, but I'm talking about me, okay? Things that, and that's why we have to have this understanding. The next thing is he says that we may uh, be attacked is a sin that makes us feel guilty. A sin. That's so many people isolate themselves. Christian, Christian people, people, period. That's the enemy's job. We'll do something we know we shouldn't do and we run and hide and we are afraid to go to God. We are afraid, especially because the Bible says that if it's better for you not to know, right, than to know <clears throat> and do. Y'all got that? <clears throat> mm -hmm. But sometimes when we know, because we know it wasn't right, we might be convicted, but but we allow the spirit of guilt to hang on to us. And then we won't get back in our place with God. We think the anointing is gone. We think he don't love us. We go, yeah, we go move. We go hide. We go do anything we can to pacify the guilt. Instead of saying, you know, the guilt, the shame is gone because that's why the cross was there. That's why we constantly saying, you got to believe in the precious work of the cross because the cross left no shame and no guilt. Mm -hmm. the cross was an open door for us to always go boldly before the throne of God so that we could lay it down at the altar and leave it there and he gives us mercy the Bible says mercy new mercies every day and final thing confusion about life the scripture teaches us that confusion is not of God somebody's confused about the direction they need to go in for anything, whatever it is. Somebody's confused even when it comes to understanding their, uh, who God made them as far as their gender roles and, and somebody's confused about their husband. And, and men, I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm talking to women, so that's why I'm doing that. And so, so we're confused. We, we don't, we, we're confused whether this relationship will work. We're confused just at a crossroad in our life and we, and we get confused. These are the attacks. The enemy knows just how to come at us and to attack us. And so the Bible teaches us that we got to put on our whole armor by believing that God has done for us or has done a work for us through Jesus Christ by living out the elements of the armor in every area of our lives. And that's why I'm backing up because we have been in 2 Corinthians 10, but 2 Corinthians 10 identifies the weapons that we fight with are not the weapons of the world. So we got to mm -hmm. understand what are the weapons that we're going to fight with? Mm -hmm. What is it that we fight against, first of all, so that we will know? So that's why we went to... Uh, Last week, we talked about Ephesians 6. Uh, I'm going to read this uh, to you. 
uh, in Ephesians 6, 11 through uh, 19. It says, we put on the full armor of God so that you cannot, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against people. It's not against your sister. It's not against your husband. It's not against your boss. It's not against, are y'all getting this? It's not against the world system. It's not against black people. It's not against white people. It's not against, you understand me. It's not even against the government. But this struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world. Y'all got to understand, there's a dark world that was unleashed when the enemy came to this earth and Amen. who it may devour. That's what the Bible says. Wow. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy us. Why y'all don't know that by now? <clears throat> why are you still falling out? Why we, why we, so that's what we're trying to all get. We're trying to be refreshed, revived, and renewed to understand who is this fight really with? Is with the dark world that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. This enemy comes to steal our joy, our peace of mind, our hope. He comes to steal ultimately our souls. Mm. Because if we can get off track, right? If we can get off focus to who we truly serve and using these weapons, then what's going to happen is he's going to take us down. And eventually mm. we're going to take us out. Why is it that the numbers are so high with suicide? Hmm. Suicidal attempts, depression, oppression. Wow. Amen. Yes. That's where it comes from. And we glorify the things that come from the dark world. And then we confess that we cannot tear, we cannot get delivered from them. Because... <laughs> Why? What I said to begin with, we're trying to counsel it. We're trying to take medicine over it. We're trying to get everybody's advice off of social media. Media, Ayana, fix my life. I'm not, not saying they're bad. I'm saying we become dependent on those things because I don't want nobody to misinterpret what I'm saying because some people will. But what I'm saying is we watch these things, television shows. Lord, I love them. You know, Tyler Perry, you know, <laughs> you know, them sisters, something else. But they ain't got your answer. Amen. I ain't relating to them. I'm just laughing at what's going on. They got a story. They got a problem for, in real life. But they life, can't just fight like my best. Amen. Absolutely. And, and, I, and every. Hey, Sharon, every time I watch them on the show, I'm saying, now, if they would do this, I'm talking about the spiritual mm -hmm. matters, <laughs> they mm -hmm. would even have to go mm -hmm. through that. <laughs> okay? So we wrestle against the, the, uh, the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Like the enemy has imps. We got angels watching over us. Don't you know for everything we got, there's an opposition to it? So at the same time, God. God has allowed the angels to watch over us, but there's a fight because there are spirits mm. of evil that are coming Amen. against. And thank God for the angels because they cover us in many times when we don't know that the battle is going on around us. Lord, have mercy. Wow. Oh, I thank God. <laughs> Y'all, I thank God. I, I, I tell you what, Amen. just studying and meditating, it just it does something to you. So the Bible goes on to say in Ephesians the 13th, 6 and the 13th, it said, therefore, it advises us to put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Ain't we heard that before? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> somebody stand your ground well God Amen. told us God already told us to stand our ground 
And after you have done everything, what else does he say do? Stand. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. Then he says, stand again. Y'all, ooh, that's a whole nother message I wasn't coming on with tonight. But I keep seeing a key to standing. Yes, stand. Don't you fall out? Stand firm. Verse 14 says, stand firm. It don't say lay wow. down. Go to the hospital room. It just keeps saying, keep standing. Stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. 15, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. 16, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray Amen. in the spirit. Y'all, this is the part I can't wait to talk about tonight. Pray mm. in the spirit. On all, somebody say all. All. On all occasions, with all. Somebody say all again. All. 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 Leaving nothing out with all kinds <laughs> of prayers and yep. requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Oh my goodness. In verse Amen. 19, and y'all, I know we, we, we've seen this scripture a thousand times. I hope it's coming, uh, 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 as my kid says, hidden from a different way this time. <laughs> pray also for me. And this the man of God. After you pray for all the other Lord's people, don't forget to pray for the evangelist, prophets, pastors, and the teachers. That whenever we speak, words may be given so that we will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. So with Amen. that being said, we want to delve into the homework tonight. Oh, well, I want to give you one more point. I see I had put, y'all, I've really been studying that, and this is really, I'm, I'm enjoying this, the, listen, the devil is not a winner. He is a liar. I want to talk about the enemies of the soul. As humans, it is a daily struggle. We struggle in decision-making, which I've said that temptation, ways of life that may be detrimental to our souls. So we got to keep in mind that the aim of the dark world and the spirit that we wrestle against is about claiming another soul. That's why we have to be a witness. That's why we cannot walk this journey being timid. That's why we can't uh, take studying the word of God so lightly and praying because once we have been saved, we are responsible for this journey to continue to win souls for Christ. It always goes back to being a witness. Those decisions may determine the outcome of our present life and guess what? The afterlife. Anytime, any decision, I talked about it the other Sunday when I preached about obedience. One decision can change or can, can be very costly and deadly to your soul. One decision. Yes, one Lord. Yield to temptation can change, has changed our lives. Mm. Y'all, I've fallen to temptation and it changed my life. I had to go a whole different you know, you know, people talk about, um, you know, what God has for you is for you. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and how he created and anointed us. Um, we ain't gonna never lose that or whatever, but you can alter how you work in it. Because when we yield to temptation, I have yielded to temptation and the very thing that I know God had for my life, I'm mm -hmm. having to be creative to walk in it right now. I had to start being creative when I wouldn't have had that responsibility had I not fallen to temptation. Amen. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. We women ain't. <laughs> Amen. I Amen. never would I you never know. would have had to do what I had to do as a single parent. Amen. My journey Amen. wouldn't have been hard had I not fallen to temptation. Yeah. You know, I, I, 
Yeah. Yes. Somebody got something to say? Pastor Pay. Yeah. As you were saying that, you know, sometimes when yield, yielding to temptation has come, not only has made people's lives hard sometimes, but it has cost them their life. Yes. Yes. Just, yes. just one, one mistake mm. can cost you your life as well. Yes. That but God, true. but through God's mercy. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Right. He has left some of us and he mm. has stepped back for some of us. Amen. <laughs> Isn't that something? That's mm -hmm. why knowing when you come to your senses, <laughs> it's like be humble and tell God thank you and don't ever forget. Amen. Man. <laughs> that song said, Jesus, I'll never forget what mm. you've done for me. Oh, you better not forget that it could have been you. Mm. It could have been you. So either way, we must be aware of the real fight so that our inner man is healthy enough to survive life's journey and eventually make it to the kingdom of heaven. Verses Amen. 11 and 12 are framed through instructions and exposure of where the real fight comes from. It was Paul's intent to reveal the enemies of the soul and provide the solution. Okay, with that being said, uh, let's go to our homework. I, I chose some people to discuss some of the verses and I think Kiana has verse 13 and um, you got verse 13? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if they can hear you. You might wanna come behind okay. me. Okay, so read your verse 13 and uh, tell us. Um, I'm gonna let you sit right here. Oh, uh -uh. thank you, Sam. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. um, Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in a time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be able to stand firm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what I got from that was in a millennial language mm -hmm. stand 10 toes down in prayer mm -hmm. so you'll be able to face evil spirits when they come for you mm -hmm. okay thank you thank you amen stand 10 toes down <laughs> he says stand 10 toes down <laughs> in millennial language <laughs> in prayer well let me give some extension to that okay what is the full armor of god she says, stand 10 toes down. Exactly. Put on the full arm of God is to apply all of the gospel to all of our life. Mm. The scripture says the full armor. It don't say half of the armor, but it says Amen. the full armor. Yeah. And as we walk through the uh walk through this soldier who is being covered with the armor we're going to see it's going to come down to the word of god and how we accept jesus christ as lord and savior and use and apply all of his gospel mm -hmm. the song says uh god wants it all mm -hmm. and that's a tough thing because that's that's where our weakness come from is that we don't give it all we want to give a part of it the mm. whole armor is the expression of the full trust in God. How many of y'all trust God tonight? Like, yes, yes. And our trust, I want you to know, it continues to grow. And the only way it grows is that we got to prove it. Mm -hmm. We got to prove it. In, in our greatest battles, we have to fight to trust. It's, it's no joke. We have to, we, we do. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but, but I have to fight the battle. I have to fight the trust when I have my biggest struggles. But in the end, God is always going to come through according to what his word has. The full armor is meant to bring strength, stability, and encouragement so we can receive all that God has for us. How many of us want everything that God does because I want it all? Man, <laughs> he wanted all. Man. I wanted all from him. Yeah. Every part of it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He wants yeah. it all. 
Mm. So to put on the four oh. corners to understand every single blessing mm. and not missing any piece. Amen. Yes. Amen. So verse 14 was, I think verse 14 was Ladarian. Okay, Ladarian, you're going to sit behind me and uh, <laughs> share, read your scripture. And um, she's going to explain verse 14 to us. Oh, she's going to read it. <laughs> Explain it, Ladarian. Explain it, Ladarian. Come on behind me. Okay, come on over here. Tell me what you think. Read it. He says, stand firm. Then with belt of truth, buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Well, in tall, basically, I mean, mm -hmm. with the belt, whatever it is that you have, mm -hmm. keep it around you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If stand, it's pretty self-explanatory, basically. Hold, yeah. your, hold your stuff, hold your clothes up on you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the belt means. Right. <laughs> That's what the belt does. You now, what I found interesting here. And in and and standing firm with that belt of truth around you, just as a belt mm. is worn close to the body, mm. you said it. Somebody said, "Hold your clothes up." Mm -hmm. You should hold God's truth mm -hmm. yes. close to you mm -hmm. and allow My it God. to surround yes. you. Remember, you're putting on a full armor, mm -hmm. so you're starting with the belt, right? Mm -hmm. You're Amen. standing up because now that belt, not only that, mm. but in my studies, I found out that Roman soldiers stored mm. their weapons where? In their belt. Mm -hmm. They stored their weapons in their belt. Mm. And that's funny to me because y'all keep hearing us, Pastor Jerome and myself, mm. talk about um, this, this show that we've been watching that's called The Resurrection. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> All the soldiers, when they got ready to go out, and even their wives, which I found funny, they were, they were at war too, the Islamic nation, they would put their sword up under their what? Their belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then when that, the long sword or the, uh, the uh, what you call it, the bow and arrow, it was mm -hmm. kept a hook to what? Their belt. Mm -hmm. So Paul associated the belt of a soldier with truth mm -hmm. because God's word, mm -hmm. God's word is true and true. it serves as a foundation. Mm -hmm. So if you put on anything with just about pants or a robe or whatever we're going to put on, we put that belt on and he's mm -hmm. telling, get that word, get that mm -hmm. truth and keep it about you so that that word will remain with you and it will never, never leave you in the time of trouble. Verse 15, who has 15? Me. Okay. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Verse 15, and your feet showed with the preparations of the gospel of peace. And mm -hmm. um, as I read up, I had some more stuff. I left it at work. Uh, having our feet fitted with the shoes <laughs> of the gospel of peace allows us to be ready to share God with others at all times as christians we should always be prepared as we never know when the opportunity may arise to share the good news of the gospel with someone else oh lord <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen <laughs> amen amen mm. what you got any, any more thoughts on that yeah, because I had some good shoes last week. <laughs> I danced out of my shoes <laughs> with some good news. <laughs> yeah, praise God. Amen. Amen. And so uh, I want to add this in here when you talk about it. The readiness means that it's the gospel. But when we talk about let your feet be ready to move the gospel. And feet are for moving from one place to another. If you put on the mm -hmm. shoes of readiness, mm -hmm. then the idea will seem to be ready at all times. Ain't that mm -hmm. something? Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? We got to be ready. And I also read, I don't think, 
Mm -hmm. Go ahead. They was talking about the shoes. I was reading about the shoes that they had, the soldiers had, they had, the shoes was um, put on, they were like sandals and mm -hmm. they put the, on the soldiers and they was put nails at the bottom to keep them, uh, to keep them on their feet. And uh, they wrapped around the ankles and that's what they, they marched in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, in our nowadays, that's, we always, uh, you know, it's just like when we was little kids, you know, we can go anywhere and run down the street with barefoot and there went and go tell somebody something. But now that we got to have some shoes, some good shoes mm -hmm. and to mm -hmm. go tell somebody, they even go to church, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. you know, it's, mm -hmm. but uh, I can go on, but I had some more stuff, but I, I wasn't nothing but the devil that made me leave it at work. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. Cause you gotta come from your heart. It's all right. And mm -hmm. that soldiers, uh, what's interesting to me is that soldier, if if you look on the screen that I have, it talks about nails and spikes and like cleats mm -hmm. like you were talking about. And they were to help them balance themselves mm -hmm. in combat. So imagine if we got, imagine if we got the belt on and got our weapon, we got, mm -hmm. okay, we got this other stuff on, but then when he come to us, and they and here you got to understand the enemy he gonna come with the first attack y'all ever had this you made it through that one right you good you know i, I you know i didn't even need no tylenol for that headache it was it was a skim headache i prayed that off i'm good but the next time he come he come in a migraine okay mm -hmm. well he might give you that migraine for one day you say okay i made it through that i prayed it through the next time he coming he said oh no i'm gonna give you this migraine not only I'm gonna get, get this headache, I'm gonna get your stomach ache. Then everybody around you gonna be a problem. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then by the time he come to knock you off your feet, he come to knock you off your feet. So the scripture in this armor, putting on the full armor, is your shoes got to be on too. Mm -hmm. And when you get through standing and having done all to stand, mm -hmm. you become a witness. Mm -hmm. You listen to me. He cannot win because you're going to be stable and you're stable and trust God enough. You're firm enough. You, you proved him to know that you can preach that word. You can tell somebody now because too many people are unsure of their witness. Too many people, too many people. If you, if you ask you to read the word, ask you to pray, ask you to witness some, somebody on the job, you're like, I would have said something, but... Mm -hmm. We can't afford to do that. Amen. 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 So Timothy said he'll preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Amen. And that's not Amen. just for the preaching. All Pastor, right. Anybody Pastor else? Pace. Pastor Go ahead. Pace. Can I say mm -hmm. something? Sure. When you were talking about the shoes, I don't know, the thought came to me mm -hmm. about the athletes. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the football players. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. on cleats, okay? Mm -hmm. And so they, they run in, in, in water, they run in, they can run in snow, they can, you know, ice mm -hmm. or, you know, and, it, it, you know, and, and the, the type of shoes that they have on, even basketball players, they, they have a different grip on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the basketball court, but it, mm -hmm. it, it allows them to maneuver and to keep from falling. Mm -hmm. and, and so how much, mm -hmm. you know, the shoes that we're talking about spiritually you know in, in in god you know putting on the uh, uh shorting our feet with the preparation of the gospel the like you were saying the gospel is mm -hmm. made the truth is made to help us to stand and mm -hmm. and when when we've done all to stand we, we are to stand anyway so when i thought about that i was thinking about those shoes you know that those cleats they they go down into the into the the grass you know and 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 so God's truth mm -hmm. goes deep. And so when it's really yeah. rooted and grounded in us, yes, yes. we have we have something on the inside yes. to help us to stand yes. in spite yes. of. And, and, and like you said, sometimes that's not an easy place. That's not an easy place. But the more that we stand, the greater our stand will become. And Amen. we will not, you know, like just give in and say, okay, well, I don't want that opposition. We'll yeah. take it on. We'll take it head on 
and yeah. and 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 just stand on God's word because His mm -hmm. word will never fail. Yeah, it go back to uh, 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 practicing, yes. practicing to stand on the word of God. Amen. Um, we can't just go to church as usual. We mm -hmm. we can't just depend on Sunday morning to be the avenue that's going to strengthen us and keep us ready. That's why we have Wednesday. A lot of people don't like the Bible study. They want to go Sunday morning, get them some inspiration. Like I said, they do all that singing, even the singers. They'll sing for two hours. And then when the preacher get up, they go out the back door. They sleepy, yawning, don't even want to get no word. Mm -hmm. and, and if you don't watch it, the Levites, they're going to be attacked because they don't even know they in the battle. <laughs> They the front line. Yeah. So you might want to get you some word, right? And mm -hmm. this day and age, well, it's always been this way. But since we're here, we ought to be able to recognize that we cannot do business as usual. We cannot consume or allow our lives to be consumed with our jobs so much that we can't study his word and place it where it needs to be. Uh, we talked about the full armor was him wanting our full, the full gospel applicable in our lives. Like when you study, I got to say it, it's been an amazing journey to watch this series, but we, it's always been here because you can see out of Christians, Christians can be totally lazy and emotional. Okay. That's why we can go as Christians and we can name lying Christians, happy Christians, whatever. Because mm. our conversion should be to be a saint. Wow. But what happens is Christians don't want to get connected no more all the way. But you can look at other religions, other belief systems, other people. They dedicate it. You mm. can look at people. People talk about, well, um, people get in sororities and fraternities. Mm. They know mm. all Whatever they supposed to know. I don't know because mm -hmm. I never did it. Mm -hmm. star, all of this. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. going to meet every time the door is open. It ain't going to get on mm -hmm. their nerve. They're going to know yeah. all them bylaws and, law and whatever mm -hmm. else they can handshake. And there you go. That's about to say the handshake. Uh -huh. and the <laughs> yeah, yeah. And don't let them have to spend money to buy a uniform. They're going to buy a uniform. Uh -huh. But if you tell them about buy a choir roll, uh -huh. say they tie them off and they ain't going to do it. Because they don't believe in it. And I'm saying we're That's so funny. dedicated. <laughs> to, I'm just so, I, you know what? I do not apologize for this truth. Amen. Because it's time mm. out that we be so dedicated. We're dedicated to our jobs. Mm -hmm. we, we can't even get up for a worship service. We can't get up to worship God and have a worship service at our house. We tired. Mm -hmm. We're dedicated to television. Yes. We're dedicated um, to entertainment. Say mm -hmm. Okay, so Preach by the time it. it's the truth. you got all of this going on, when your big battles come, your well, feet are not planted. Well, mm -hmm. And yeah. it's going to knock you off your rocker. But we mm -hmm. have to begin to practice. Yes. We have to practice the word and get this, the will of God. Amen. 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 Yeah, I know yeah. the others just burning to get to the eighth scripture. So let's go <laughs> on to verse 16. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Paul says, Paul said that shield is a is the primary form of defense against the fiery dart of the wicked one. Um, when it struck the soldier or the shield, it would splatter and burn. This was before the days of the gunpowder. So these weapons, so these weapons were generous and effective and mm -hmm. discriminating enemy forces. Mm -hmm. And why is the word of God a weapon? Through God's word, we can dis distinguish between right and wrong. Mm -hmm. and we can strive to live in a way that is free from sin. Mm -hmm. It's the ultimate truth. And we can find confidence in knowing it is our greatest weapon. If we are lacking knowledge of God's word, we can struggle to fight against the enemy. Mm. Mm. That, that's perfect because 
our faith is our weapon, is our protection. Mm -hmm. What we believe, Amen. It's worn, it's strapped, it's strapped about us. We mm -hmm. we that's that's it deflex, you know, the attacks of the enemy. Whereas the enemy says, uh, we ain't nothing. But mm -hmm. the Bible says, what did you say? We're more than conquerors. We're more than conquerors. <laughs> yes. The enemy will tell us, you know, that uh, we're a wretch undone. Uh, mm. Oh, but that ain't the yes. Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't the Bible. Mm -hmm. That enemy try to get in our minds and, and make us feel useless and helpless. But mm -hmm. the Bible teaches we're the apple of his eye. Yes. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's talk yes. to the women. Women, we walk around, we call ourselves ugly, mm -hmm. out of shade, out of whatever. I don't care. God <laughs> loves you. Don't nobody love you. That's a lie from hell. Love myself. <laughs> That's it. You got to love yourself, but you got to know God loves you. Mm -hmm. He loves you. Now, dude, yes. if you got those kind of issues because of something that you are not stewarding over, your body, okay, mm -hmm then that just calls for repentance. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean he don't love you. That calls for repentance and true repentance turns away from. Mm -hmm. And when we really commit it, we turn, <laughs> don't we? Yeah. And so God has given us even tools to get back to him. That's it. Just get yes. back on our track. Mm -hmm. But I love the word of God. It's Man. 11 and 1. It said, now faith. I like this. It's confidence. Yes. You talked about the shield of faith, but the shield of faith is our confidence. When we believe in the word of God, mm -hmm. we are confident. Nobody yeah. can take that from us. No matter, mm -hmm. look, we try to get jobs that won't hire us. Mm -hmm. And that'll break you down. But if you believe in the word and the will of God, you know that you can either speak things as no. pastors say, in existence and out of existence. <laughs> yes. But if you, I, I didn't, I've done it, y'all. I've mm. done it where they gave my job away to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But when I went back in there and took my oil, and I demanded that the job was mine. Yes. That phone call came the next day, and mm. the woman said, "I kid you not." The woman mm. called my manager and said, "Her husband said." She didn't need to be driving over to mm. that job every day. Hallelujah. <laughs> Won't he do it? Yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he will. He came right on in there and yeah. said, Clarissa, the management team want to meet with you. See, we give up and we leave our jobs and everything else, right? Because mm. we don't have this full armor on. We get yeah. stressed out on the job. Mm -hmm. because we don't have our full armor on. Mm -hmm. We get stressed out with people. Yeah. Lord, I have to remember that even with the government. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I had to go back in and sit down. I said, oh, girl, you got to get your armor on. Yes. Because what I can't say, I can pray. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I also want to make a point that faith cometh by hearing this word. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. You better want to hear the word. We'll mm -hmm. hear a song, but we won't hear a word. Mm -hmm. That's why you catch Pastor Pace. I be sharing sermons with y'all because I'm up in the morning time or I get up early. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know y'all don't like it. I'm so sorry, but uh, <laughs> I get up because I have a business to run and I know I ain't going to be talking to y'all in between now, but, and I, but I'm up early. David got up early. David mm -hmm. Go back. David got up early to meet the Lord, mm -hmm. early in the morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I must be dragging around in the morning time because mm -hmm. we stay up late. They mm -hmm. tell me the freaks come out at night. I'm just... I'm <laughs> oh, Lord. All I know is I want to rest in the Lord. Mm -hmm. If I ain't stuttering, studying mm -hmm. the word, get up mm -hmm. early in the morning to meet the Lord. And if mm -hmm. I ain't just got that Bible, hear that word. And then mm -hmm. the Bible says, how can you hear what without a what? what? Somebody, how can you hear without a who? Here. Yeah. Listen. Uh-uh. What is it? How can you hear without a preacher? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> without a preacher. 
Some of us don't want to hear the preacher. Mm -hmm. And we need to, that's where our strength, our shield of faith, that's where it's going to come from. That's yes. what Paul said here. He said, pray for me. So that, because God had put him charge over their souls. Mm -hmm. He needed prayer that he could always be open. And because Paul was on the run with this new gospel, and mm -hmm. y'all know we in the age where we're on the run right now. Somebody that's watching Facebook, somebody in our church don't like this word tonight. Mm. Mm. And we on the run. Mm. And we got to continue to pray for the preacher. Hear the preacher when the preacher talking and obey the preacher when the preacher talking. Don't you count a little. Man. Lord have mercy. So I'm going to go on mm. to the next verse. Who's got the next verse? Oops, I did something wrong. Who got our next verse? Verse 17. Okay. Um, okay. It's Michelle. Was it Michelle? Okay. Okay. So Michelle is not on the line tonight. So I'm going to read verse 17 uh, for us. Okay. Uh, verse 17 says, Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Mm, amen. In the Roman army, or Sharon, you want to expound on it? Take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Mm -hmm. The helmet of sal the helmet of salvation is the your protection mm -hmm. of your mind. Mm -hmm. It 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 um, you know a lot of times um we i think we confuse the mind with the brain mm -hmm. and, and 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 they're two separate things and mm -hmm. so god protects our minds mm -hmm. with his salvation he 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 gave us salvation what is what is salvation mm -hmm. uh is 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 for the saving of the soul it's for mm -hmm. the saving of the mind it's mm -hmm. for the saving of the spirit. Amen. Because we're uh, and, and so we I think we discharge sometimes. It's just like uh you put on a cap you when you mm -hmm. go outside if it's cold and you put on a winter hat mm -hmm. or something like that to protect you your your you you from the cold. You, and you know, if, if you ever notice if mm -hmm. your head is warm, mm -hmm. your body is warmer. Because mm -hmm. most of the heat escapes from the top of your head mm -hmm. in, in your body. So if you keep your head warm, you'll mm -hmm. find that your body is warmer. So mm -hmm. in, 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 in the, from a spiritual standpoint, if mm -hmm. we have on the helmet mm -hmm. of salvation, mm -hmm. a lot of things that we allow to escape mm -hmm. won't escape. We'll be able to to keep it and and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god mm -hmm. the word of god is forever y'all mm -hmm. it will never go away he said heaven yep. and earth will mm -hmm. pass away but mm -hmm. my word mm -hmm. will never pass away he said mm -hmm. he said before heaven and he said heaven and earth will pass away but now mm -hmm. even one little dot or one mm -hmm. little jittle of his word will pass. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I, I, I said this last night when we were on the prayer. He mm -hmm. is the word. He mm -hmm. is forever. And mm -hmm. it's never going to yes. go away. And Amen. so when we fill ourselves, the sword, our sword, mm -hmm. he said, it's not by might and it's mm -hmm. not by power, but mm -hmm. it's by his spirit. Amen. Amen. And, amen. and his, his sword, his, you know, if you go to the word, he said, my my word it cuts mm -hmm. it's a sharp it's a two-headed sword it's mm -hmm. it cuts it's sharp it separates the marrow from the bone mm -hmm. amen. amen amen so when we think mm -hmm. about that you know let's not take the word of god you know and just make it of none effect when we read the word it's not we've heard this so many times it's not just black 
letters written on white pages. Mm -hmm. These are life. Mm -hmm. They're life giving, they're mm -hmm. life changing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I just, you know, take, he says, take it. He yeah. says, he's telling us to take it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're not taking it, we leaving it. Mm -hmm. Or we laying it yeah. down. We need mm -hmm. to take the helmet of salvation. We mm -hmm. need, and the sword of the spirit, mm -hmm. which is the word of God. And when we mm -hmm. have God's protection over our mind, mm -hmm. then the enemy can't come in as the angel of light mm -hmm. and deceive us mm -hmm. and make us think that it's God mm -hmm. when it's not God. We'll know God mm -hmm. for who God is. Amen. 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 That helmet of salvation. Um, here I got we can avoid simple thoughts and understand what is good and true. If Amen. we take that salvation, uh, like you talk, it protects us. The Bible teaches us that um, uh, I think it's in Psalms 1. Uh, Psalms 1. Uh, somebody get, uh, I'm going to pull that up real quick. Psalm 1. Um, Psalms 1. I know exactly what you're going to say. I mean, I think I know what you think. Yeah, yeah. Bless, yeah, bless, bless the, the man. man. Bless the man. There you go. Amen. Keep walking. Keep, keep, keep reading. Okay. Okay. Who walks not in the counsel of, of the ungodly, mm -hmm. nor stand in the path of sinners, mm -hmm. nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Mm -hmm. Storm. Read verse two. Okay. But his delight is in the law yeah. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And his, and his law is what's it? Meditate, meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Uh, well, it says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the well, river of water. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I shall not be moved. <laughs> Y'all remember that hymn? I shall not, I shall not be moved. Listen, well, just like a tree planted, planted by, by, the, by the water. water. Yes, I, I shall not be moved. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He is my well, captain. Yeah. I shall yeah. not be moved. Yeah. Jesus is my captain. <laughs> I, I shall not man. be moved. Just, Just like, like a tree planted, planted by, by the water. Yes. I, I shall not be moved. moved. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. In this Bible study. Yeah. Yes. Come yeah. on <laughs> Come on, somebody <laughs> feeling feeling like yeah. they're full of that armor tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, Let's go to Lord. verse 18. Tanya, come on with it. Hold on. <laughs> we probably started singing. Don't let that singing bother you. <laughs> <laughs> and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Mm -hmm. prayer is a constant thing man it's, it's not i mean you can drop a prayer here and there like i do when i hear an going by but it's a it's a constant thing mm -hmm. keeping your mind stayed on him is what keeps your mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. man amen amen so i like this because uh uh we're getting ready to close on it but praying in all kinds of prayers is not just a weapon, but mm -hmm. it is a part of the conflict. Are you listening mm -hmm. to me? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not just a, another weapon, mm -hmm. but it's part of the conflict. Mm -hmm. You know, when the enemy thinks he's won, mm -hmm. but because you pray, Mm. Oh well, Lord, have mercy! Yeah, <laughs> because you pray all kinds of prayers. Mm -hmm. I don't want us to forget that that the scripture said to pray all kinds of them. Mm -hmm. So you, there's gonna be a place where you can pray the Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a place where you're gonna have to do warfare prayer. You're mm -hmm. gonna have to pull out that scripture we talk about uh, scriptural praying. You you're supposed to pray out of the Word of God. So for your mm -hmm. situation. Fine. Yeah. Mm. Pray with all 
uh, earnestness and supplication uh, uh. on your knees, standing, uh, praying tongues. Um, it's war out here. Yes. And so he said, man, the Bible said, man ought to always do what? Mm, pray, what? not speak. That's yeah. it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Again, mm. that's practice because we don't want to pray over when we, when we don't, we don't want to pray, period. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at our call. Yes. Our prayer line, <laughs> mm. you know, and we can only say we forget so long. Yeah. But it's got to now we need to pray that God give us the desire to connect. You listening to me now mm -hmm. pray God give me a desire to connect with the prayer warriors. Mm -hmm. Lord help. Didn't Jesus ask his disciples. Can you not pray how long did he say y'all. Mm -hmm. One hour. One mm -hmm. hour. Mm -hmm. Some of us we get on now. I see the number six minutes. We can't pray longer than six minutes. Y'all got a burden that's been lasting six years and you want it to move in six minutes? Y'all know that ain't gonna work. <clears throat> so you got to practice. Yes, you got to practice. You got to be the weapon that causes the conflict. Yeah. When that enemy think he's won, drop to your knees. That's why we got pillow talk. I ain't playing about that. We are in a season where we cannot afford not to pray. Amen. You can never not afford not to pray. Mm. And you can find yourself, I've been in there, done that, and I have to watch it. But I tell you, if you can't, if you can't, if, look, if you're getting ready to work, here what I do. I'll pray ironing. I'm going to pray ironing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Bobby and them know at the desk, I'll stop over there, I'll say a prayer. Whenever the Lord hits you or whenever something's going on, and don't just tell people you're going to pray for them when a situation, praying. When mm -hmm. did you pray? When did you pray? We put that stuff on Facebook, prayer mm -hmm. hands. Ain't nobody praying. That's it. Y'all believe they praying? Mm -hmm. Put on there, pray for me. Mm -hmm. Unspoken prayer. Well, I, yes. I pray, I no question. Pray. I <laughs> need to know what you mm -hmm. want me to pray for if I'm gonna pray for real. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible tells you to make your request known. They get loud. Mm -hmm. Make your request known to Him. Yeah. Then He says, "Ask." Mm -hmm. And if you don't ask, <clears throat> isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So. That develops what we call, or what the Clark sisters call, a praying spirit. Mm. Amen. Because yeah. after we practice this thing for so long, y'all, it just becomes, mm -hmm. and, and does it have to be long and drawn out? No. There are some prayers you need to be there for an hour. If you've been in this six years, that's the problem. You ain't prayed long enough, yes. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, if, it's, if it, you, you, you need to know at least how to say, Lord, help. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's a prayer. Amen. Lord yes. have mercy. Yes. Praise God. Lord have Amen. mercy. Amen. Lord, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That's a prayer. You need to say that before you cuss. Yes. You need thank to say you. that before you clown. Well. Yes. And fall out before you yes. think the get cut off and you see the bill and you got to shut off notice. Lord, Amen. give me favor. That's, yes. that's the prayer. Pick up the bill, lay hands. Lord, give me favor. You don't. You got it in your hand. That's it. Mm -hmm. Lord. I know it's practice, girl. It ain't easy. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. then as women, you know, we got we live with people's marriage. I'm talking about. Ooh, you pray yes. for with us. Yes. Ooh, Lord help. <laughs> After you help me, help him. Yes. Okay. And walk away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's it's Lord shut his mouth. Touch, Lord, touch his mouth. <laughs> 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 That's why I'm saying all oh, counter prayer. <laughs> so right now hey, we hey, need God. something suddenly. Go right ahead. And we about hey, to Pastor Pate, you, you know, you were just saying you're talking about the pillow talk, you know. Yeah. That it that is that is powerful, you know, mm -hmm. because it's when we're laying upon our pillows, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we are waking in the middle of the night. Mm. It's time mm. to pillow talk with God, you know, yes. and, and I, I thought about something. It was somebody had 
put something I trying to remember. They say normal is mm. never coming again. Well, I, I have said that normal is never coming again, but Jesus is coming soon. Yeah. And so that's that's why it's so important. Mm -hmm. And I was reading in the scripture last night, it, I think it was in Jeremiah, mm -hmm. and, 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 and God was so distraught with, uh, and up, you know, with the things that were going on. And the Lord said, in the end of that, in that scripture that I read, he said, and, but they will know that I am am God and when I when I thought about that the Lord spoken it to my heart and he said America is going mm. to know that mm. I am God mm -hmm. and then he said not only America but the world is going to know mm. that I am God and if we don't have those pillow talks mm. Hmm, mm. there's things that we don't want to be caught up in mm -hmm when God begins the shaking, because the shaking is coming. Amen. 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 And Amen. Sister Sharon, I, I totally agree. Uh, my heart, um, I, I have a burden in my heart for, for those young adults, those we're in a, a time, and for all of us, but we're in a time where, you know, witnessing gets harder and harder because they call Ooh, this girl. religion when it's protection. It's not religion. Amen. It's trying to help them understand how they can be protected and how they can stand mm -hmm. in this journey called life. Mm -hmm. And they can't do it on their Amen. own. Yes. You know, and, and these young mm -hmm. people, when you look at Facebook and Snapchat and when they just talk to you, they don't have the answer, but they think yeah. they do. They think they got the answer. Amen. They think yeah. they got the answer. But they don't even they want you to tell them. You, they don't, they, they don't, they won't, they don't even want to hear. Yeah. You, they don't want to hear. God said they have ears and, and they don't even want to hear. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just a situation mm -hmm. I see all around me. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about the young, I see one mm -hmm. person just going from man to man to man mm -hmm. and, and not married, just, you know, just, just giving a self life. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why? Why? Mm -hmm. Why would you cheat yourself like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, you're more valuable than that. Yes. Right. Man. And that's why I made the decision that, you know, we've been doing our ladies of royalty uh, probably about six months into 2021, but mm -hmm. um, to finally go on Facebook and to do it because if they won't go anywhere else, hopefully they'll run up on something that we have said and understand that we're not judging. Uh -huh. We've been where they've been, but we found the real right. formula. That's what we're talking about. The real fight. Mm -hmm. We got right. to learn how to fight it for real. Otherwise, we just weaklings existing and waiting to go somewhere. We don't even know we're going to heaven. We just know we're going somewhere. And some of them act like they don't even know they're going nowhere. Mm. You go yeah. have to leave up out of here and it, it don't have no respect to person. Yeah. COVID Amen. is disrespectful. Man. COVID is very disrespectful. Do you, <laughs> do you remember? When I, a couple ago, a, 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 a gentleman uh, shared something and I shared this with several people mm -hmm. and it says, and I think I shared it last yeah, night yeah. in prayer. It says, Satan talked. He just talked. Mm -hmm. And he influenced angels mm -hmm. out of him. Mm -hmm. Angels fell yes. from heaven because of the influence mm -hmm. of Lucifer. Not only mm -hmm. that, they were already mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. a place where they were already in the glory of God. Already, mm. already mm. there. And and I thought about uh, Adam and Eve. They were in. They were already in mm -hmm. paradise. They were already in the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. but because of a lie that was told, an influence lie to make them think that they were missing something so no doubt satan or lucifer made the angels think they were missing something y'all yes. we on earth don't let us listen to satan and mm -hmm. make us think we're missing something 
and he Amen. talked us into hell. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, listen, that, that, that is our time woo. for tonight. And I thank God Amen. for the study with you all. We still not done. Our topic is still the real fight. Next week, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about uh, the scripture went on. Paul said, he, he told us, so we wanted to see where our fight came from, right? We're going to go ahead and look within because he didn't stop there. He tells us that we start because we wrestle against flesh and blood and all these wickedness and dark places and so forth. And he goes on. The reason we got to have this armor on, right, is so that we can get rid of the strongholds. So mm. we're going to talk about strongholds. Y'all begin to study. I'll, I'll send you your message. Anybody who's watching tonight, if you want the lesson, the uh, the, the scriptures and any of the questions that I'm going to send out uh, before next week, just simply post it on there and we'll give it to you. But we're going to talk about strongholds because some, we got to go within. Now we got to identify. I like it because Paul was when he was talking to them in Corinthians, y'all, he loved them. And he was giving them full answer. He was not just rebuking them. He was helping them. And we're going to let the word of God help us. What are the strongholds in our lives that we wow. wrestle against, that we fight Amen. against, that we can expose yes. and identify? And then once we identify that joker, he got to go. They got to go. Amen. 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 So we're going to close out with prayer mm -hmm. and thank y'all that have participated from the church. Ladies, y'all are awesome tonight. See, it didn't hurt at all. <laughs> I got some more assignments. I ain't missed everybody. So we're going to go around this circle and um, get everybody involved. Amen. Father God, we thank you tonight for this word. Excuse me, before I go into prayer, I do want to let you know that this is Wednesday night. And there are ways that we can give. We should give our offering for our Wednesday night study. And we can do that through Cash App, T-G-I-A-T-P. That's the dollar sign. You can go to the Great I Am Temple on, um, on Givelify, okay? And you can give by way of Givelify or anyone at the church will accept. You can mail it to P.O. Box 241, Monticello, Arkansas, 71657. I believe that you cannot lose planting a seed on this word. It is fertile ground. It is rich and it will come back to you 100 fold in return. And we thank you. We want you to know that um, our men's, I'm sorry, our men meet on Thursday nights on conference call and we'll be putting that information out. So if you have a man, invite them to get on the conference call with Pastor Jerome Pace, okay? Uh, uh, they're going to eventually do this Zoom thing, he said, but not now. He's got to get used to this, and I'm going to put them on. But get your man. Tell them, your kids. <laughs> tell a neighbor. Tell a cousin or whatever. Get on that men's call because Pastor Pace is teaching and preaching hard on there, okay? He and Gabriel are in charge. And um, then we'll be back Sunday, the fifth Sunday. Our guest speaker will be Minister Anthony Jackson. Join us amen. live, amen, or in person uh, at 1030. That's a new time for us. And then uh, I want you to know on February, the third Sunday in February, we will have our church appreciation service at 1030 in the morning. It will be live or in person. And the members, you know what we have asked you to do as a special offering. If anybody's watching and you say, hey, I want to be a part of that giving, then um I'll let you know what it is that we're asking for, and you can be a part of that too. Amen. 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 All Amen. minds clear and announcements are clear. Father God, we thank you for your goodness, and we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for these women of God who are connected, God, that are here on Zoom, who have been a part of this study tonight and this discussion. We thank you for those who are watching. Father, we thank you for the men who are just sneaking in and listening. We pray that you would bless them, Father God, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father Amen. God, that you would deliver us from all evil, that we might continue to stand and having done all, Father God, we're going to keep on standing. Oh, we just bind the work of the enemy that may come against us that come to kill, steal, and to destroy. He has Amen. no power, he, and we will not make it convenient for him. So we thank you right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank God. And God bless. Good night, y'all. Love you.
Good night. Bye. Love you.